Good morning, everybody. Today we're going to try flying something a little bit different. I'm going to try flying a 1969 Citabria GCBC. mission, beyond just seeing if a Bonanza guy can figure out how to fly a tail dragger, uh, we're going down to a friend of mine, Nick Smokes, uh, uh, he's having a bit of a Bonanza flying, and I'm flying a Citabria. What could go wrong? What we're also doing is, a uh, friend of mine, Dave, uh, David's, plural, Grim and Farmer, David Grim, David Farmer, are going down in their Devon Air. So, Normally we do a little bit of formation flying uh, on the way down, but uh, yeah, not so much. Concord Ground, Citabria 5247 X ray with information Tango ready for taxi from the T hangers uh, departing to the south. Citabria 5247 X ray Concord Ground, Roger. Proceed to the south end of the ramp and hold on the south end for your run up. Alright, so we got a fuel truck here and a plane Hello, under tow. 8539 Mike, Concord Ground, Roger. Follow the Citabria on the ramp to the south end of the ramp for your run up and advise when you finish with your run up on the south end. We'll follow the Citabria and I'll advise after the run up again, Mike. And there's Tony. You know to do your run up. Bonanza 3 9 Mike, did you say you already did your run up? Uh, negative, we'll be doing the run up down here. Okay. Uh, yeah, just go to the south end of the ramp. Let me know when you're finished with your run up. We've got a couple of airplanes in the pattern doing full stop taxi backs that are, uh, that want you to hold them up if uh, you had to do the run up at the end. We'll do, thanks, sir. And that was Tony in the uh, Suburban there uh, watching me taxi by. So Tony is the North Carolina Baron pilot, and uh, he does a bunch of YouTube videos on flying around local here. We went together over to uh, uh, Gastonia a couple of weeks ago. Uh, beautiful trip over Lake Norman, and uh, starting to see the fall, uh, the trees starting their fall colors. It was a really pretty flight, so uh, check that video out if you get a chance. So the, uh, uh, the old saying when you're in flight training to never taxi faster than you can walk, in a trike airplane, we always think, wow, that's okay, whatever. In a tail dragger, it's really important. With the, uh, the CG behind the main gear, uh, it's kind of like a, an uncoordinated shopping cart. It is constantly trying to spin around on you. And uh, you've really got to keep, you know, keep the speed down so you don't get, uh, get ahead of yourself. The other thing is this thing has heel brakes. Yeah, heel brakes. <laughs> oh my, oh my, is that, uh, is that taking a little bit of getting used to? There's Dave over in the, in the debonair. Concord Tower, Citabria 5247 X-ray, run up complete, ready for taxi 22. Citabria 5247 X-ray Taxi. Uh, let's see here. You see there will be an Archer uh, just coming in the sight on Alpha. Do you see it? Uh, oh, yeah. Archer's in the sight. 47 X-ray. All right, then. Citabria 47 X-ray. Follow the Archer to runway 2. Follow the Archer to runway 2. 47 X-ray. So the whole heel brake thing. Prior to getting this Citabria, I'd only flown one airplane with heel brakes one time. And that was a, a champ I used for my flight review uh, about a month ago. It humbled me trying to uh, figure out how to move my feet to use heel brakes. Uh, if you look on YouTube, there's all kinds of videos, though, and plenty of you know uh, forum conversations about the benefits of heel brakes versus toe brakes and, and all that. And uh, one of the things that comes up pretty frequently in the heel brake tailwheel conversation. Uh, 1740 charge, turn left at Delta and straight across to the ramp. 
up to the ramp for your Charlie. Is that it is a whole lot harder to uh, put the, the plane up on its nose if you're using heel brakes because you have to move your feet so aggressively. Here's 8A Whiskey Foxtrot Concord Tower, runway 2, clear for takeoff and on departure, proceed on course. There are actually all kinds of videos out there about uh, tailwheel planes coming in to land and then the <laughs> thing going up on its nose. Uh, when, uh, when people inadvertently tap the brakes and uh, put it up on its nose on, on landing there. So heel brakes makes it a little bit easier, uh, or makes it a little bit harder to do that. So it can be done, but makes it a little harder. Centabria, 5247 X-ray, Concord Tower, runway 2, clear for takeoff, and right turn out to the south, approved. Clear for takeoff, runway 2, right turn out, 47 X-ray, rolling. Dot com 4224. If you would stay on that heading there and turn a uh, right uh, turn to f a long final for runway two and report established. All righty, here we go. Heading.com 4224. Extra's rich, carb heat's cold, everything's on. Full power. if I'm a partner in a Bonanza, and uh, the answer is a couple of different things. One, I took a flight review uh, right over there at Monroe Airport, uh, oh, about a month ago, and uh, I did it in a 1946 uh, 7AC Champ, and that was about as far from a Bonanza as I could find in the local region to do the, the flight review in, because I wanted to try something different to really challenge myself. And uh, that champ, it, well, it humbled me. <laughs> I, uh, my uh, Bonanza is in the shop for an avionics upgrade. I've been without an airplane for, uh, well, over two months now. And uh, <laughs> I've been borrowing other people's toys to fly here and there, but uh, I definitely had, well, it gave me an excuse, I guess, that I was looking for. <laughs> and so, uh, so here I am. Next landmark is going to be past the uh, smokestacks here. There is some very rudimentary navigation equipment in this airplane. I've got a magnetic compass. So the uh, navigation equipment in this airplane, uh, well, it's pretty basic, pretty rudimentary. I navigate with the magnetic compass and looking outside. Now I've got to figure out once I get past that smokestack, what my next uh, visual marker is going to be as I head down to uh, head down towards Columbia, is there's a whole lot of nothing <laughs> in this direction.
What a beautiful day to fly. I am capturing my shadow this morning. Look at that. Landing on runway uh, 27. There we go. Alright, so uh, 551, 1500 feet traffic pattern. Uh, it is runway 927, 3000 foot by 70 foot turn. So there is the dam on the south, what would that be, the east edge of the lake, the southeast edge of the lake. And it's got to be a nuclear power plant down there. Oh, that is so pretty. I could, I could fly out here all day. That is so, so very pretty. got to figure out how to land this thing. Yeah. <laughs> no pressure. So I'm going into an unfamiliar grass strip. With a whole bunch of people watching. And an airplane that doesn't handle like the Bonanza I usually fly. What could go wrong? Now, for those of you that aren't used to flying into grass strips, identifying where the grass strip is versus where all the fields are around here is, well, most of the fun. All right. Now, according to... According to Nick's message here, uh, parked by the blue house and hangar on the northeast side of the runway. All right, northeast side of the runway. Here we come. Assuming I can find the airport.
Yeah, nothing like an arrival with tons and tons and tons of people out there. All right, well, that is the trip into the South Carolina International Airport. Thanks for being my co-pilot. This is a huge flying event. There must be 30 or 40 airplanes out here today. At the beautiful Gilbert International Airport. And these guys know how to put on a spread. I believe her name's Katie. Let's see her for Katie. Katie won that. Nobody know what her name is? <laughs> All right, everybody ready to get your tickets out. The lucky number is 3764. 645. That's a long number. You win? Last, last three. Thank you.